good afternoon. It's a, a Sunday afternoon and it's a cold day outside. For the first really cold, or it felt cold this morning, day of uh, the 2013-14 the winter approaching. And um, so it seems to me like it's a great day for, um, for baking because the oven will warm the kitchen a little bit. So today what we're going to make is rye bread, caraway rye. And I will start out first by just showing the first set of ingredients. I'm going to do this in kind of two stages. We'll show you the first set of ingredients, let the dough work a little bit and get comfortable with itself. Then we'll put in the second set of ingredients. So let's take a look at the first set of ingredients for the caraway rye bread. Ingredient number one in this is going to be one and one quarter cups of rye flour. Then we're going to add one cup plus three tablespoons of room temperature water, two tablespoons of sugar, two and one half tablespoons of active yeast. Okay, so let's throw all that together. Then we put a towel over the top of it and just let it rest for a little bit. All right, here we go. We've got our cup and a quarter of rye flour. Let's add in two and a half teaspoons of yeast, the two tablespoons of sugar, and we'll just kind of dry mix all those together to get a nice, easy, even mixture here. This is the first stage. Just like I said, this is not the finished product. Now we add our cup plus a little bit of room temperature water. This is going to make a, almost a slurry. This is certainly not the full dough, but this will let the yeast really go to work on the flour and especially the sugar. And that's what we want here, is just to let those there you go. Give you a good look. We've got a nice soupy mixture of flour and water and yeast and sugar. So we'll set that aside. What we're going to do is just put a towel over it and leave it sit for 20 minutes to a half an hour, something of that nature. Alright, let's uh, review the ingredients for part two of our caraway rye bread. The next step will be two cups of white flour, one half cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of wheat gluten, two tablespoons of whole caraway seeds, and one and one half teaspoons of salt. Let's start putting all of this together. The, the um, rye and yeast and sugar seem to have risen a little bit. Let's start adding the rest of our ingredients. One cup of flour, two cups of flour, Put in our sour cream next. This doesn't come out quite as easily, but you know, if I'm off by a quarter teaspoon or something, I'm not going to worry about it. It's, this is, you can say that baking is an exact science, but I'm not convinced that a quarter teaspoon here or there is going to make a difference. We'll let our Two tablespoons of wheat gluten, two tablespoons of caraway seed, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Whoops, we spilled, but that's fixable. This is um, going together. You can suddenly smell it because of the caraway seed. It's uh, 
that has a distinct odor, distinct smell. Now it seems a little stiff to me now, but experience has told me that this one will be liquidy and sticky when I start to knead. So let's start doing that. Now you can see why I'm wearing a, an apron today because I'm going to be covered in flour before I'm done with this probably. Rye flour is notoriously sticky to work with, and it doesn't rise nearly as easily as white flour. Far less gluten in it. However, I really like the taste of rye bread. Of course, that's why we add the wheat gluten to this. And I'm already beginning to feel the, the stickiness of it. So I'm going to keep adding little bits of white flour as we go along. The recipe for this reminds me to be careful of not adding too much wheat flour, but we need to do that to make it knead up and rise up decently. So. Now it's, you've seen me before probably on my um, focaccia recipe, focaccia bread, doing kneading. And we're just doing the same thing again. And it's starting to get nice and smooth. And that's our goal here, so we'll just keep going. Um, pretty nice feeling, nice looking bubble dough. I'm going to wash out this this yucky looking bowl and oil it, and then put the bread back into it to let it rise. All right, we'll just throw a little bit of oil into our bowl. Spread that around a little bit. Just a little bit. Throw a towel over the top of that. And again, we'll throw it into the oven. And again, my oven is. Uh, Set at a proofing cycle, it's 100 degrees, and we will let that um, work. This camera is really difficult to work with at times like this because it um, it looks at the angle of the camera and decides whether or not it needs to turn the picture upside down. And sometimes I'm looking at it and saying, "Is that working, or am I looking at something crazy?" It's like the dough's about to fall out of the bowl. Anyways. The rye bread is proofing now in the oven and we will leave it sit there for half an hour, 45 minutes before we start to actually bake and hopefully it will be just a nice loaf of rye bread. Back to you in just a little bit. Well, I've majorly screwed up the rye bread recipe in that I thought I was recording when I put it in the oven. I wasn't. One of those days. 
Anyways, the rye bread I just put in the oven. I took it out of the bowl, I put it on the peel so I could slide it into the oven and it's only been in there about 30 seconds. What I'm going to do, take this over and give you a quick look. I don't know if you can see it through the oven window, but there it is. That's my rye bread. It's baking at uh, 325 with the convection oven, so convection 325 is closer to um, non-convection 350. We're going to leave it in there I really don't know. Um, 20 minutes or so? Let's let's see how it looks after that amount of time. But I'm going to go back and look at the recipe and see how long it's supposed to bake for. But that seems like a good number as a starting point. And we'll check on it uh, after that amount of time and if it, <coughs> if it needs more time we'll do it. Okay? Uh, I think I told you I was going to check on the bread after 20 minutes. Not done. It said 40 minutes. I think it's now done. I, kind of tapped on it, it sounds about right. So let's see if we can get the bread out of the oven. See if you can hear that. Sounds right. Come over here, look at it. Put it on a cooling rack. And there we go. A nice loaf of uh, caraway rye bread. Now I'm not going to uh, on this video show you a, a taste test. I'm taking the uh, breads to work as snacks for the rest of uh, the office where I work tomorrow so this bread will go in as a as a snack for my co-workers uh, during the day tomorrow. But um, And despite the fact that I forgot to show you putting it in <coughs> in the oven. Um, you've seen it come out and you've seen virtually the whole process other than the waiting times. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this one and uh, my other videos, uh, cooking, weaving or whatever, I would very much appreciate if you would uh, subscribe to my channels. So that's it for tonight, a baking video day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.